Hello everybody, I am standing here uh, on a spot in, out in nowhere as it seems, in western Sweden. Uh, well, it's not nowhere because I, I have a little cottage down here where I'm staying for a week here now. Doing some writing and stuff. Uh, I guess it looks just about the same as it does over in on the eastern side, close to Stockholm where I live. But anyway, I'm here in western Sweden, one of the few countries in Europe or in the world actually that hasn't uh, imposed lockdowns during this COVID pandemic and I, I listened today to a conversation very very interesting conversation between uh, a former justice in the Supreme Court of England I think it is of Great Britain Lord Sumption who had this conversation with Jay Bhattacharya Dr. Jay Bhattacharya of Stanford University one of the the original signatories of uh, of the, the so-called Great Barrington uh, Declaration, which is a declaration that criticizes uh, lockdowns and and has this thesis that the lockdowns are, are actually worse than the disease. And this is what exactly what this conversation was about. And I've been talking about these things many times, but he said he said some very interesting things about democracy and about uh, despotism and uh, what these lockdowns actually I mean, they're unprecedented in, in democracies, of course, and it, it's, uh, it's really not been warranted, as, as you know, who've been following me and, and others talking about the same things here. He said things like human interaction isn't an, isn't a, an optional extra. Human interaction isn't an optional extra. It's a basic requisite for human life. So that's what we have to deal with here. And we, we have the lockdowns have meant that that people haven't been allowed to interact, to, to have contact with each other, which is which is really wicked. It's a wicked measure to impose. The people who have imposed them, the leaders for the most part, haven't been wicked. They have been doing this in good faith, as far as I can understand. And this is also what Lord Sumption said. So I was thinking maybe this is the last time uh, because I'm as you might know, I am one of those who thinks that we are in a period of time, a period of history where big changes actually can happen uh, on Earth and, and big uh, transformations can be possible within the human community, the human collective. So this might be one of the last times that um, leaders can impose restrictions that are tougher than, uh, than is warranted and get away with it because they are almost not getting away with it now as, as we can see uh, in some places I'm not talking about a revolution really we need something else we need we need self more more self rule and we need a society built on trust and respect and not built on suspicion checks and balances because that's more or less what it is built on today it's built on suspicion checks and balances so the, the assumption being that most people uh, are selfish and uh, you know all of that and that's why we have to have these checks and balances but that's not that's not viable that's not uh, sustainable in the long run because people are actually if you let them uh, come to the core of themselves they are at the core for the most part loving and uh, good people who want that who want good towards other people as well. Um, and we have been seeing just lately, the last few days, protests against these COVID uh, restrictions. It's not the first time, as you know, but, but it's interesting to see that, that they pop up all the time because new lockdowns are imposed and, and, and this, these latest protests were to a large extent uh, against the so-called COVID passes, which in France have been imposed in a very strict manner, as far as I understand. So the, the protests in France were, were huge. There were actually several hundred thousand people out there in the streets protesting against these COVID passes. People were thinking that, uh, uh, and, and, uh, and they have a point, that this divides people uh, in, in, a, uh, in two, two different categories, one approved and one not approved. And there were also protests in Australia, and there were protests in Slovakia. That's those are the countries that I heard of. But they, there might be protests in other places as well. I'm sure. 
So that was that. And I also want to tell you that as you have probably noticed, I'm not sure I need to tell you this, but I'm doing it anyway. I have some kind of a summer break. That's why I'm staying in this cottage here in Western Sweden to do some writing, to do some other stuff. And uh, so the podcast is kind of resting a little bit now, but I don't want to, I, I mean, I don't want the, my dear followers and subscribers whom I appreciate so much to, to have nothing for a few weeks, for a few summer weeks here. So I am publishing regularly once a week uh, highlights from seasons one and two, uh, compilations of highlights uh, uh, from spectacular, as I think spectacular, interesting episodes anyway. Very, very interesting people that I've interviewed and uh, sometimes also from solo, pod- uh, solo episodes. So that's going to be happening the coming weeks here. Uh, and I will also try to publish my weekly video blogs on Sundays all through summer. So we'll see you during the summer, but I will be a little bit uh, low-key myself trying to do some other things. I need some vacation, but I also want to keep in touch with you, wonderful listeners and viewers and subscribers, uh, and also, uh, I mean, uh, have this... (laughs) have this uh, podcast rolling because it's a love child of mine. Okay, have a nice week now. Love you guys. Take care. See you next time. Bye. If you like this video and other interviews and talks on Mind the Shift, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. Thank you.